YouTube. Today I want to make a video about whether horse riding is vegan. So I went riding yesterday because my mum said she would give me a lesson because I said a comment in passing about how I would go instead of my brother. And so I went riding as a vegan and it gave me a chance to kind of reevaluate how I feel on the whole issue. Okay, so I don't think horse riding should necessarily be an issue for veganism as such i don't think there's any like it is vegan it's not vegan it's not that black and white it's kind of a gray area and i think it's up to personal judgment as to whether you wish to ride or not ride as a vegan and i think horse riding can very much so be conducted in a way that is ethical even peter have said it can be as much of an act of compassion and exercise as walking a dog but obviously there are certain things to consider when riding horses. One of these things is to, to consider is the use of synthetic tack rather than leather tack. Um, especially if you have your own horse. Like obviously if you ride in a stable you can't really help the type of tack they use because it's almost always going to be leather. But if you have your own horse and you need to replace your tack and you're a vegan obviously it goes without saying replace it with synthetic alternatives for you know your leather saddles and your leather bridles and everything else that goes on a horse that may be made of some sort of animal product and secondly obviously the use of items such as spurs and whips I don't think should be used I've always felt really uncomfortable personally myself using a whip like I've, I've used them but I've I've because I've kind of been pushed into it by instructors but I've always felt really uncomfortable about it and I would never ever use spurs I don't think it's right I don't think we should be causing the horses pain just to make the move for us and I know some people are like oh but it doesn't hurt them but it must cause them some sort of pain or some sort of discomfort because I've noticed when I've used a whip before and like a really lazy horse you whip them once or twice and then they'll be fine for the rest of the lesson so it's obviously doing something to them that's causing them some sort of discomfort so much that they're going against what they actually want to do and moving for you without having to completely like constantly reinforce like you would with the kicks. I mean I felt bad about the kicks at first not being funny but little gentle kicks are fine. Okay and obviously with riding there's obviously training them to be able to be ridden um and there are issues here such as possibly maybe starting to train the horses too young so horses skeletal systems aren't fully developed until the age of four so if you want to be the most ethical rider or the most ethical horse trainer it would be ideal to not start riding until sort of around the age of four but obviously depends on the breed and you do your research on that if you wanted to do that and it is encouraged to train horses in a way that doesn't use punishment but in a gentle ma manner which can very well be done just as most people I would hope train dogs in a gentle manner you know you don't go around abusing your dog when you're trying to make it know how to like use garden um I know some vegans are concerned that horses live in stables all day because maybe they haven't had very much riding experience maybe they've only like had the odd lesson um they've never really been around horses but from my experience of riding yes the horses are sort of in the stable during the day maybe and then at night you like take them back out into the field because we used to have the last lesson at night so you like you take them out into the field and when we did things in the holidays you used to get them from the field in the morning they didn't actually live in stables 24 7 and when I used to go on like hacks every twice weekly, the horses lived in fields full time. They they were always in a field. So there's obviously ethical ways of keeping a horse in order for it not to be exploitative or damaging in any way. Horses are obviously herd animals, so they do better kept in groups. Um, horses can suffer from overexertion, which is why... I'm 
no, I'm not that comfortable with the idea of going to a stable to ride, like, to, like, loan a horse for half an hour for, like, a lesson or something anymore, um, especially in the summer, because I definitely found yesterday that I thought the horses might have been being overexerted. I mean, the horses me and my brother rode were being used, obviously, when we rode them and then straight after, and even the instructor felt sorry for the horses. If you're feeling sorry for the horse, and if you're then it's kind of a sign that it shouldn't be ridden. It's a sign, you know, horses need brakes. They're not tools for us to use and ride and exploit constantly. But that doesn't mean riding, you know, occasionally, like, is wrong and exploitative. But I do think care needs to be taken to ensure they're not overexerted and their needs and desires are looked after as well as our needs and desires. Um, obviously, I'm not saying all stables are like that. I'm sure not all stables potentially overexert the horses but especially in this country obviously it's not not really quite a warm climate but like yesterday it was hot we actually had quite a good summer this year but yesterday it was kind of hot and like i i didn't feel comfortable with the idea that the horses were being ridden straight after because of that aspect really um so obviously if you were to go to a stables and ride a horse, maybe do your research on that stables, maybe ask questions such as, you know, how often do the horses get ridden, ask about their living conditions, maybe go and visit before you invest in them and make sure it's somewhere you feel comfortable riding. Because I'm not saying there's any right or wrong here, but definitely if you're going to start riding lessons and look into riding horses, then do your research on the riding stables near you and make your judgment about what which one you think is most ethical which one you'd feel most comfortable riding at um the most ethical form of horse riding would obviously be to have your own horse and use synthetics make sure it's trained properly make sure the bit is a gentle bit so it doesn't damage the mouth because bits can damage the horse's mouths um which i think is why like i've been told this before when i was learning like you can't pull too hard on them when you're pulling to make them slow down it's like just a gentle pull because otherwise the bit can damage the mouth um so yeah make sure your tack is cruelty free and causes as little harm as possible make sure you're riding a horse of the appropriate size for your weight and your height and your build and of the appropriate age to be ridden some people really do get concerned as vegans that horses backs are hurt by riding but horses can carry quite a lot of weight and at least nowadays stables do seem to have weight limits of around 16 stone i think or at least that weight limit where i went yesterday and they ask for your height and weight when you register to ride at stables because they want to choose the right horse for you and a horse that can take your weight and isn't too short for you and all of those other factors so I totally think horse riding can be done in a way that it's ethical I don't think it's necessarily an issue for veganism as such but it is definitely an ethical issue and can be either unethical or ethical and your opinion on the matter and whether you actually want to partake in it and support it is definitely up to personal judgment after you've done research and figured out how you believe on matter really don't forget to like comment and subscribe and follow on follow me on all my other social medias links will be down in the description and i'll see you in my next video